Welcome back to this new video of TechPressed. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with this exciting productivity tool called the Motion. This auto scheduling daily planner that promises to transform how you can manage your tasks, meetings, and overall workflows. Uh, I've been testing this for a while, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing uh, the features, the pros, and the cons on how it stacks up against the productivity apps. So, first of all, might, you might want to try out the Motion or want to understand what exactly is this application. Now, this motion for free um, is a dynamic scheduling tool that automatically organizes your day based on the tasks, based on the deadlines and the meetings. I'm going to create a new account with another Gmail so you can see what is the process of creating an actual new element here into motion. Let's try it out with a new Gmail. Go for sign in, continue and let them access the so this application uses an AI-powered scheduling to help you stay on top of your priorities without having to manually move things around. So think of it as a personal assistant that manages your time for you. So whether you are an entrepreneur, a student, or just somebody who wanted to pack a schedule, so motion could be your game changer. Usually, it's going to be asking you, do you plan of using motion by yourself or with your team, for example? So here have the individual priced. There's the team price and does the enterprise plan. So usually you're gonna focus only into the individual because we have all the elements about the AI, the warnings, the telling, the focuses, the syncing, the generated calendar, the meeting booking pages, and of course access to all this application. Uh, how is this motion works um, for everybody? I'm gonna first start with a seven day free trial. I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description if you wanted to try it out this for the next seven days totally for free and then you might having a plus discount if you wanted to try it out for more than even one month. So this one is gonna be sending you now into the important of all these tasks and meetings. You can import all your existing meetings and tasks from Google Calendar or Outlook into Motion. So for tasks, you can assign priorities at deadlines, so Motion knows what's most important, what you do. You can add out a scheduling, real-time adjustments, and much more. So if I hit into connect my account, I can add a Google Calendar, and I'm gonna add my TechPress account. So I'm gonna go for OK, continue. And it's gonna be asking, of course, to sign in with an account. If I choose one of this, I go for continue. And I need to grant the access. Usually I just select them all, go for continue, and I can connect another account if I want to. But in my case, let's just try it out with a Google account. So I have connected all the calendars I use, continue. You may schedule it use the zip file and select this main calendar. So I just enable the element that says work. I select the all the calendars and I can set my weekly hour. And we have the personalization of the motion even more for us. And the motion is now being prepared. As I was telling, we have now the AI power scheduling. Now the AI power scheduling, one of the coolest feature is the AI driven scheduling. It's like having a personal assistant who knows exactly how to fit tasks around the meetings, the breaks, and some other priorities. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for not now. And here I usually have my calendars, my accounts, my calendar here, the huge display option. I can see this in the Mondays, Tuesday, weekly, daily, and whatever. I can see now into the right side, I can see that we have plans, for example, my prepped meals, refresh all the toast, and much more. And I can start or add a new task. Now here into adding a new task, I have the auto scheduling. So I can enable this AI power scheduling and that of course can be helping me to get a deadline, um, adding a new label if I want to, adding the status, the priority, the duration, even I can use a template if I want to. Now the time blocking, you can break down largest tasks into small time blocks, making your work more manageable. I'm going to go for cancel and we can see that we have our projects, the booking, and even the tutorials. Now the tutorials can be helping me to understand how to create a product workflow template, a task product in calendar, the cabin tool, the gun chart, and custom fields. So usually what we can do now is to focus into my very first product. Let's say for example, this is for YouTube. And now I have here all my tasks. Here appears as tasks, deadlines, stages, status, priority, and completed. Check out how automatically it's going to be adding a meeting of the deadline. 
my audio schedule will be completed to, uh, to uh, tomorrow actually, I can disable this if I wanted to or not. What's great about the motion is the ability to adjust. Say a last minute meeting comes up, motion will automatically move non-urgent tasks to a different time slot without me having to lift a finger. So check out how I have the do of one hour, 30 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, and stuff that I can do first to, let's say for example, learn DIY is gonna be taking me uh, one hour so I can just complete this. And if I complete this, let's go for 45 minutes, Automatically, it's going to be updating elements here. And as I am finishing all my work, I can just focus into new elements and see what is left for me to do. And elements, of course, are going to be updating automatically. So this is really, really, really great for people who want to get started here. One of the pros, of course, is that this one has prioritization. There's a lot of flexibility, time saving. But I must say that there's a limited customization because it doesn't always know when you need a longer break or prefer specific tasks. And there's a bit of learning curve to fully take advantage of all the features. And the motion that is not for free. There's a subscription fee, which might be a barrier for some users. With that in mind, guys, we have now covered everything about how to get started with motion. If this one is right for you, well, if someone has a package schedule and needs to help managing both meetings and tasks and simply, I highly recommend trying uh, the motion. But if you don't have a lot of money, you want to try it out with more uh, stuff, to, which is totally for free, then you can try it out with something else, which is not the motion. So that's a wrap up or the review of the motion, your, your auto scheduling daily planner. So guys, if you find this video helpful, don't make sure that you can just give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Express for more in-depth text reviews and tutorials, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an update. And well, hopefully you can all see you next time.